Stress is your best friend. Stress is your greatest ally. Listen, if your intent in, in this life to be a stand up person, to be uh, reliable, sturdy, capable and like exceptional at everything that you do, then you need stress in your life. And stress is your best friend. Every type of stress that we encounter can strengthen us. Now, it makes us more sturdy and more resilient. Now, just dealing with stress by itself isn't the end all to get these attributes that I'm talking about. It's the way that you handle the stress. If you deal with it properly, you win. You pass the test. If you don't, then it breaks you. It breaks a part of you. It makes you easy to break. You want to be the type of person that's hard to kill, not easy to break. When faced with impediments, you got to be bold, brave and defiant to its will. You must have the confidence to deal with it appropriately. You must also have the knowledge to know that this is just temporary and it won't last. All right. Listen, there's a saying that goes, there's always sunshine after the rain and there's always more sunshine than rain. But when you're being rained on, it's hard to see that. But you got to know that it's there. Now, let me give you all some ways to deal with the stress and some perspective. And you have to remember that with stress comes pain. Remember that it's just a test. Pain is temporary, but it's necessary. Remember the term growing pains? Well, with pain comes growth. Uh, think about when you're doing strength training, uh, you're trying to grow your muscles. It doesn't feel good, does it? No, I don't. So what you're doing is you're adding, you're applying stress to the muscle and trauma, and then you stop. And when you stop, you, you rest to recover and the muscle repairs itself. Your central nervous system is giving your body the things that it needs to be able to deal with that stress the next time that it happened, to deal with that trauma the next time it happens. It's called adaptation. It's the reason why human beings are successful as a species. As mammals in the animal kingdom, pound for pound, we're quite inferior physically compared to many animals out there. However, we have such an ability to adapt and learn that we become the top of the food chain and we've carved out an existence that far exceeds just existing. We thrive. We enjoy life. Uh, we enjoy the novelty of music, of the arts, technology, travel, philosophy, things that are not a necessity to actual survival. Survival, we got mastered. That's easy to us. Homeless people survive. This is all because of adaptation and learning. So when we adapt to the stress and the pain that we encounter, each time that it comes again, it's easier for us to deal with. It's using intelligence over emotion. Emotion is very primal. It's instinctual. Intellect is our best attribute, not emotions. Emotions gets us in trouble. Intellect keeps us safe. When using intellect, it's not likely to make mistakes. Quite often, when we act on emotion, later on, we regret what we've done. We look back and say, man, I, I wish I would have. But you know, hindsight's a motherfucker. Life comes at us in different speeds. It's up to us to slow it down and control the wave. Take deep breaths and think things through. Another way to deal with stress is to welcome it. Psych yourself out. When you have to deal with a stressful situation, welcome it. Anticipate it coming and be excited about it. Know that it's just an exercise that will strengthen you once you deal with it. You will deal with it properly and come out a better, stronger, more resilient person. Remember that we always deal with stressful situations, so expect it. It'll be less stressful the more you deal with it the right way. Things that break people down will be nothing to you. Now listen, when you're trying to achieve things in life and you put your plans together, you can have the most precise plan. But guess what? Life and all of the circumstances that come with it don't give a shit about your plans. Something will pop up and derail you. What do you do? Do you quit? Or do you figure out a different way around the impediment or the perceived impediment? It's just something that you will encounter to further qualify you to be the ultimate practitioner at whatever it is that you're trying to do or achieve. Nothing that's meaningful and worth having is going to come easy. That is such a true statement. So don't expect it to come easy. And if it feels too easy, it is. You should probably not do it. When you fight for what you want and what you need, 
you really appreciate it. You have a deep appreciation for it once you get it and you'll do everything in your power to not lose it after you've achieved it the proper way. If you're the type of person that coasts through life looking for the easy way out of everything and shortcuts to get to where you need to go, you might get far or it might appear that you're getting far, but guess what? The windy roads, the difficult situations and circumstances will eventually catch up to you. It's gonna find you. And when it does, it's gonna sit you on your ass and humble you. If you haven't been dealing with stress properly, if you haven't been taking the more difficult routes, the right routes, you're not going to know how to deal with that and you're going to be broken. And that's not what you want. Listen, stress will bust pipes or it will produce diamonds. Stress is not good or bad. It's just a tactic. It's just a tool. How you deal with it will determine whether it was good or bad for you. you